East Regional Final from Bean Town, 1941. That's the last time Pitt advanced to the Final Four. As for Jay Wright and Nova, Jay looking Wright for their first title since the miracle days of Rowley. And the Cats came out strong. Scotty Reynolds with the jumper. That makes it 10 to three. Jamie Dixon's bunch off to a slow start. Several minutes later, Shane Clark, long distance, count it, and the lead is up to double digits. But if you thought the Panthers would go down easy, think again. Hold on, watch it. Oh, oh. take the baseline, take the tuba with you. Dewan Blair, the big guy with the stick and foul. And then another one of Pitt's floor generals, that of course is LeVance Fields. He brings the Panthers all the way back, nodding the game at 30 with this three-pointer. We'll jump to the second half and it turned out to be a super memorable one. Reynolds again showing how clutch he is. The Cats get the lead right back. The Panthers also relying on their big guy, Sam Young, came to play another hoop and foul. Game tied once again. How about a mini run halfway through? The three ball from Corey Stokes makes it six straight points for Nova. They take the lead right back. Back to Blair, the big guy in the paint. Hard to stop him. The hook shot's good. We have a one-point contest. His teammate, Sam Young, big game player, shows us his onions. The three-pointer gives Pitt the lead. They have a two-point edge. Under three minutes to play. Nail-biting time. Not for Dwayne Anderson, though. Oh, Dixon back. And a free throw coming. More from DA with under two Anderson. to play. The yes. three pointer seesaw affair continues. Two point lead for the Cats. Up a four, just two. ticks Over remaining. Here. Game not over yet. Young That's buries the three, the three ball. Anderson. Once again, it's a three pointer. And once again, it's a one point game. Nova with a seemingly insurmountable lead. But there's no quit in pit. A wide open flare brings the Panthers back to within two with 10 seconds remaining. And then a huge mistake from Villanova. They just need to inbound and make free throws. Easier said than done. The turnover and foul means LeVance Fields will have a chance to tie the game. First free throw, no sweat for the Brooklyn, New York native. Jay Wright freezes him by calling timeout. Fields makes the second one. Game tied at 76. And then Scotty Reynolds took care of the rest. Seconds to get it up the floor. They're in trouble. Reynolds. An amazing conclusion with one half second to go and Fields almost makes history, but it doesn't go down from three quarter court and Nova takes the region with a slim two point victory, easily the best game of the weekend. They'll kill you on the court, but they're classy and they're a great, they're a final four caliber team. Anybody could have won that game. And um, we're proud to uh, be a part of the Big East with them and, and, and uh, we feel for them because we could have been in the same spot. The first thing is I, I can't say how proud I am of our team and, and how we've played all year, uh, but even more so how they played the last 30 seconds to be down and make plays, make big shots.